Does everybody in the room play an instrument of some sort? Okay, um, anybody in here play the drums? Nobody plays the drums. Anybody play the piano? Okay, we got, okay. Well, besides Greg and, and, and uh, okay, cool. Um, well, I just wanted to get a sense of who was who in the room. Is it cool if I stand? Is this, is this fine? Um, it feels a little bit more comfortable, so I'm not like sitting on this recorder and I don't wanna break it. Um, but I want to thank all of you for having me. My name is uh, Mally, also known as Malik Watkins, um, hip hop artist in the Twin Cities. Um, 30 years old, not as old as my friend Greg, who's 66, um, but uh, very talented individual. Um, I'm just here to talk to you a little bit a day, today about my experiences with music. Um, I honestly don't play any specific instruments. I guess my instrument is my voice. Um, which, as you can see, I'm projecting. That's the thing that I talk to, I communicate with, that's the thing that I make the most sound with, um, is my voice and my brain as far as uh, writing lyrics and writing songs down. Um, and specifically, I'm a hip hop artist. Uh, how many people in the room uh, listen to uh, rap music or hip hop music in the room? Any of you guys? Uh, name at, a, at one at a time, who are some of your favorite, uh, favorite artists that you guys are listening to right now? Anybody? Who? Who? Say it. Who? What did you say? Justin Bieber. Okay, cool. Um, I like his. I like his newest album. What's it called? Purpose. Is that the name of it? Love that album. Great album. Anybody else? Yeah. Don't be shy. Like I'm not gonna bite. Like I'm here to relate. Here to connect. Cause I want to know what you guys are listening to. Who? No. Come on. Go ahead. Say it. Oh, okay, you don't want to share, but anyway, well, I guess like some of my favorite artists growing up, um, and maybe I'll, I'll it, let me ask this, would there be anybody in here who would be able to help me uh, do a, a simple drum beat? It, one person, Kathy is just a brave soul. I bet you get all A's in all your classes, don't you? Okay, cool. Um, but, and that'll be a little bit later, but basically I'm here today to just like tell you about my experiences as an artist, um, why I got into music, um, why I consider myself to be a musician. Um, and I'm thinking of, uh, hopefully, if everything goes right, learning uh, how to play piano. So I, I at least want to have one, I want to be trained in at least one instrument. But some of my favorite artists growing up were uh, Stevie Wonder, um, Tupac, Jay-Z, Nas, um, currently Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Um, <laughs> oh, now you want to say who your favorite artist is. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. Um, love Kendrick, love J. Cole, love Big Crit, love Pusha T. I love a lot of, uh, Justin Bieber's another great artist. Um, but a lot of the people that I listened to inspired me. Music was my voice. It was the thing that I was able to communicate with on a daily basis. So even if I was listening to it, a lot of the artists connected with me. So if it was Tupac talking about the downfalls and the struggles of the black community or his experiences with his mother or a broken family or even just the trials and tribulations of success or having an education or not having an education, music, specifically hip hop music, was my blueprint um, on how to grow up, what to learn, how to speak, how to walk, how to talk. It was kind of like I looked to hip hop artists as that was my blueprint for manhood. I didn't grow up with a father, so music was my, was almost the thing that raised me, told me a lot of things and taught me a lot of things that maybe my mom was unable to tell me. So if it was potentially how to defend yourself, how to communicate with different people, um, that's what hip hop music was for me. And I started getting into writing probably around the age around 14 or 15. And it started off really easy through journaling. So writing down my thoughts and then it, evolved into poetry so then I started rhyming words and putting the words together and what's funny is I can remember back to when I first started writing was that I wrote about some of the craziest stuff I'd write about you know violent stuff gangster gangster activities because that was who I listened to that's who I thought I was I thought I was lit I thought I was on fleek I thought all of these different things that I didn't do them, but it was because that's who I listened to. So a lot of times you tend to imitate the people you look up to, right? Do any of you guys have like big brothers or big sisters that you look up to and imitate? Um, and that's what 
rap music was for me. That's what hip hop music was to me. Um, was was like my big brother, was a father, or that, that person that looked up to me. And I got into that, and I wanted to communicate to the world. And Greg brought up a great point was, what is your idea of making it? And mine was to be rich, to have a bunch of cars, to be able to buy what I want, to have all the Jordans, to have the Yeezys, I mean, to have Balenciagas, whatever you could think of, all the high fashion, high expensive stuff. And the last thing on my mind was school, but I definitely want to say that you guys are here as an important, um, this is an important opportunity. So please, I also want this to be a conversation. So if you guys have questions while I'm talking, please feel free to raise your hand and ask me anything that you have to know, uh, that you want to know. Um, so I've been able to have experiences in college. I went to college. I went to St. Thomas. It's located in St. Paul. After that, I went and worked in corporate America for about five years. But during this experience, I'm still writing music. I'm still listening to music ever since I was 14. So from 14 up until about 21, 22 is when I told people like, yo, I rap, I rap. And then at first they're like, nah, man, you don't rap. You don't rap. You suck. And they didn't even hear me. And they told me I was whack already. Like, you know, people doubting you and, and not believing in your talent and your skill as an artist. So I had to deal a lot with that. But the thing was, I had a voice. And then as I got older and more mature, I started figuring out who I was, what I wanted to talk about, and what I wanted to be, basically. And that was to connect with people, um, share my story, share my passion. And that was music. Um, and since then, I've dropped about four different albums in the process of recording, working with different uh, instrumentalist from somebody who does the drums, somebody who works on the keys, somebody who works on the bass. So even if I'm the only person maybe doing the vocal work, there's many different pieces. So each and every one of you in this room is very important. So even if right now you may not be recording material, please believe if you become more professional in your talent, you probably will be a very important piece in someone else's project. So always remember that music is very important. As Greg said, it's everywhere. You can make it almost out of anything. And I mean, whether it's uh, a song from Lil Yachty, whether it's a song from Lil Uzi Vert, whether it's a song from Kendrick or J. Cole. There's so many different flavors and so many different styles in music, but as you can see, everybody has their own story and their own different style. And how many of you in here think that you have your own voice in music or whatever instrument that you play? Do you feel like you're copying right now? Or do you feel like you're still learning or not good enough to put it out? How many of you here would love to record or put music out one day? Eventually, Eventually yes. Hands high if you're going to raise your hand. Put it up. Don't be shy. Hands up. OK. And what would make you want to put music out? Why would you want to record or put music out? OK. It inspires people. Um, like I said earlier, just because I enjoy music and it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. So I think, yeah. And you want to make other people happy? I, I dig that. I'm the same way, because I feel like a lot of the music that I work on is very personal, so I feel like we all go through things. We all, you know, one day, you guys will one day probably fall in love, maybe get married, one day make money, one day maybe even be broke, maybe one day be hungry, maybe one day, whatever, like you're gonna grow up. And as you get older, your, 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 your ideas and your things of life are gonna change. And that's the one thing I will say too is, as you progress as a musician, your music, your sound will change as you change. And that's the one thing that I've always wanted to embrace is that music is full of change, it's full of variation. So never, the one rule that I guess I would tell you is that with music and the thing that I've learned as a hip hop artist is that there is no limitations. There are no limitations, there is no box. Essentially, you can do whatever it is that you wanna do. How many of you in the room listen to uh, Kanye West? Okay, okay. He, I would guess, I would say is the best example that I could use modern day that doesn't really follow any sort of rules. If you listen from his first album of College Dropout all the way up to maybe Life of Pablo, I would say he's had changes almost in every single album, every single song, every single sound. He's, he's varied his style. Um, and even though I didn't go to school for music, which I think this is an amazing, uh, an amazing experience, and I think all of you, I would encourage each and every one of you to find one instrument, whether it be your voice, whether it be the guitar, the keyboard, the drums, to practice in that because, once again, you can inspire somebody, you may make somebody happy, you may uh, find yourself in an amazing situation. And I can honestly say, even though I was told uh, this isn't the session to figure out how to get signed or blow up on the voice. 
um, the TV show. Um, the thing that I would say is you never know what doors will open because of music. And I can honestly say because of music, I'm in the room with you guys right now. I currently teach creative writing and poetry over on the north side of Minneapolis. I've been able to tour the United States of America and Canada for over nine weeks. I've been able to release material and drop over 10 different videos on YouTube and have over you know, 300,000 views. You know, followers on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, the whole nine. I mean, you guys are all living in a digital age and that's how music is consumed. So now, as a musician, figuring out not only your music, but then also figuring out how are you gonna to communicate to people? You know, music is a form of communication. So even if you don't drop the full song, maybe you give people a snippet online. You find ways to connect with people. And that's the one thing that music was always for me was finding a way to connect with people. And those are some of the highlights. The highlights, I love writing, I love recording, and I love performing. Performance to me is like the, the space where you just get a chance to be your complete self. I mean, there's been moments where I felt down, I felt depressed about life, family sucked, whatever, or maybe me and my girlfriend were, were, were bumping heads with each other. But I would write something, I would literally go to the studio, I would record it, and as soon as I left the studio, everything that I felt that was good, bad, negative, the bad stuff was just gone. It was all gone, and it was therapeutic. It was super therapeutic, and it was like medicine. It was one of the best medicines that I could have. So if any of you in this room have that instrument. That's the thing that I would say, if you're ever feeling down, if you're ever feeling like your parents just don't understand you, your brothers and sisters are getting on your nerves, or you and your teachers are not getting along, go to that instrument as an outlet. Use that as an outlet. Don't use it as a way to beat up your friends. Don't call them names, whatever. Use the music as a way to fuel the inspiration to communicate with people, because you never know what'll come out of it. And I've been professionally uh, recording and releasing music since 2009, so seven years ago. So if you guys are 12, 13, and 14, so you guys were like five and six. You guys were like really young. Um, but this is the time where you're gonna be going through a lot of changes and you'll get a chance to define who it is you are and what you wanna be. Um, but for me personally, the thing that I love is I'm being able to talk to you guys. So I don't know if, if I'm connecting with everybody, but I will say that I hope even if there's one of you Seems like it's my friend Kathy over here, correct? She's, she's like super attentive, I see the antennas up. Um, definitely like use that as your tool, as your fuel to like become a better person. So even if um, one day you decide to put it down, maybe it's just for practice, whether you decide to practice professionally, music is a beautiful thing. It practically saved my life in a lot of ways. There was an album called, it's very old, it's from like the 70s, but it's a Stevie Wonder, a Stevie Wonder album. Anybody in here familiar with Stevie Wonder, the, the blind, you know? the guy who's blind and kind of nods his head to the side. He had an album called Music of My Mind that came out in like 1972. I wasn't born, y'all wasn't born. None of us were even thought of at the time, right? Like, you know what I mean? Um, but I was having a bad time in life. I listened to that album, I put that album in the CD player and every single song on that album just connected with me. And that's the album that like literally got me through college, the last year of college. Had I not found that album, who knows? I probably wouldn't have graduated. I wouldn't have went to go work you know, at a job that I didn't like at the time. But I realized that um, music is my saving grace. Like I listen to it every day. I have to listen to it every day. It's almost like the one thing that, the one drug I would encourage you guys to use is music. Like <laughs> that's the only drug I would encourage you to use. So um, Kathy, correct? Can you come up here and uh, just keep a simple, I'm gonna do a small performance with my friends. So if you could just do, just keep this uh, simple drum. Can you do that for me? Okay. Yep. Yep. Wait, is that like? And maybe you can do it with both hands, so. Is that easy enough? Can you do that? Uh, 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 uh. You should sit back and enjoy the ride. Bright lights in my face, I feel super high. Do or die, I'm pressed to keep doing. He do it, speak fluid, I'm fly. Just read through it every day out the. Slow down for me a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect.
Every day out the door, want more, dear Lord. God, I'm sure that I'm all authentic in the aura. Whole life Friday, a good glass pour up. I live off the ground, every day is a sore up. This real rap's what I'm branding all day anyway. God said that I'ma have a big quarter. Seem like the prayers when you're facing the paper. And all the girls would have shaped one day to if it wasn't for my earth or the unseen savior. Might quit rapping, turn to unclean behavior. Time for me to see I'm blessed, it sure took some. Make some noise for Kathy up here banging his good drum. Thank you. Thank you. Our mission is to supply students and classrooms with the instruments and the tools they need to have successful art and music programs. We are lean, entrepreneurial, nonprofit organizations looking to make a big social impact. And we find that when we pool our resources together, we can get a lot more done. We can have a greater impact and provide music education to more students in our state and perhaps throughout the country. Instruments are going to help the kids be able to have their own instrument so that they don't have to share, be able to take them home, get practice time in. Really our goal is to make sure that every kid has access to musical instruments. A lot of times it takes money to have a musical instrument and to take lessons and to be a part of a music program and we want to make sure that there are no economic boundaries, that every child has the opportunity to experience music.